Okay, guys, I see a uh, few of you have joined, few are still joining. Uh, can you guys see my screen and hear me well? Can someone please confirm? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, so yes, the question which uh, Nirmal was asking that was related to OS level. So you guys don't have to worry about it at all. Being an Azure administrator, no one is going to ask you questions on OS level and they will not expect you to work on operating system because they will have their own team system, admin team, Windows team, Linux team will be there. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so this is how you log into a server using uh, a Linux server using uh, SSH. Okay, like we have RDP tool, we have a putty tool here and uh, uh, you can use the same IP address, public IP or private IP, whichever you have, you can utilize that. Uh, but to use private IP, there has to be some connectivity. As of now, we are relying on public IP for this training session. But in actual environment, you will always use private IP. You will not even see public IP on any of the resources unless it is necessary, you won't even see it, okay? So these are two methods. Let's go to the another one. Let's check another one. Okay, when it comes to uh, this one, uh, Linux, there are two methods, guys. Okay, one is you can utilize username and password, and the uh, another one is you can use a key also. It it creates a security key, and with the help of that key, you can log in directly. But you don't have to know that. If you don't have to know it, all all those things. Hence, I'm not covering them. But still, I'll show it to you. Let me show it to you how it looks. If I create a window, uh, uh, if I create a Linux machine and I don't want to use username and password, so how can I use a, a private key or a public key? It, ultimately, it is a security key. Okay, let's say I want to create another machine. I have already have a Linux machine. Okay. So simple, we won't even create it. Look at this. This one you will not get when you create a Windows machine. The moment I change here from Ubuntu, if I do some Windows, look at that. The only option which we have is username and password. Okay. Username and password. But if I go to Windows machine, any sorry, Linux machine, any Linux, Linux machine, it will give me an option to uh, SSH public key. So you can either generate that public key or you can you if you already have an existing key you can utilize that we are not getting into it it's completely fine you don't even have to know it you, if you don't know it, it's completely fine okay but you should know that authentication types for a linux machine it's ssh public key or password and for windows it's only user id and password okay so this is the only difference we have and in in our practice also in interviews also we'll always stick to user id and password so yeah, that's run. Now let's see what other options do we have. Uh, so we ch checked uh, SSH. We checked uh, remote desktop. Passion we are going to look at serial console. Let's quickly check serial console now. Serial console is nothing guys, uh, but it is. Uh, I am not sure if how many of you have worked but if you guys remember, I showed you one server. Okay. If this is the server. Okay, so guys, if this is a server, let's say your server, it's kept in, uh, this is very old. If this is a server, this is kept on your rack, not all the time someone will come here and deal with this server, okay? They will do it remotely. They will take the remote of this server IP, uh, we're using the IP address. And then they will 
deal with it. Let's say they want to add some role, remove some role, add some user, change something, whatever they want to do in operating system, what they will do, they will take a remote of that machine using the IP address and they will do it. Uh, however, what if it is not working? What if remote is not working itself? Then what is the case? This server is kept on a console. Console. A console has its own connectivity. Okay. What happens? You can control your server using this console also. Console is nothing just a, a, a core appliance. Laga hua hai, samaj lo usko. So if your server is not booting up, Windows ka section hi nahi hai, aap login kahan se karoge. So to do that troubleshooting, is tarah se console hota hai aapke paas. Okay. So console means nothing that you can connect to a machine if you are not able to boot up the machine. So this is a console, hai, serial console. Look at this. Serial console. Okay. So this is one method to connect to your machine. Here it is. This is a Linux machine. This is how it looks. If I go to Windows machine, it will look similarly, but commands are different from console. If you want to connect to a machine, there are specific command. If you want, I will share it to you, but we don't have to get into that. That's completely fine. But if you want, I, I'll share it with you. Some commands that how to get connected, etc. Serial console. Okay, this is one method to connect to your machine. Is it clear, guys? This is and this will be in uh, in uh, command line method. You will not see GUI here. This is the only command line method. If if you are expert in this, then only you will come connect from here and fix something, reboot the server, and then again you will have your GUI back if something is broken. Now the next option is Bastion. Bastion we are not going to learn now because we won't understand that unless you know the networking part. So once we cover networking, then we we are going to cover Bastion. But to answer your questions that how many or a, a question I'm going to put is uh, how many methods are there you can connect to a, a virtual machine. So what can you say? RDP. There are four methods of uh, connect. Yes. RDP, SSH and uh, connect. RDP, SSH, console and mm -hmm. Bastion. Bastion. We have seen console. You, you, no one will ask you many questions about it, but you should know serial console. Something is like that. RDP, uh, SSH, they are not going to ask much questions. They, it, it doesn't give any problem most of the time. Maximum questions will be around RDP. What if RDP is not working? What should I do if RDP is not working? Fine, I know RDP how it works, but when I'm trying to connect to machine, I'm getting some error. RDP is not working. Where will you go, guys? Where, where can I find these issues? Solve problems. Yes, here. Diagnose and solve problems. Here you will definitely say can't connect to VM and look at that. And it will give you some uh, uh, troubleshooting steps. Can't connect to VM. Mm, failure to connect using RDP port. See, you can select all your issues here and it will give you uh, some solutions and it will give you some sentences also which you can read and you can utilize it in your interview so is it correct guys is, is it clear to everyone uh, connect part apart from bastion bastion we are not covering now because we will require networking understanding for that so is this clear to everyone overview done activity log done i am done tags done this one i have explained you guys have to use it networking huge topic we're doing it later connect is it clear to everyone in this also bastion is pending apart from that any doubt Yes, guys. Yes, no, maybe if I so low energy today. Yes, sir. Okay. Windows admin, we don't have to worry about it. This is something uh, system admin will take care of. Okay. Windows admin center, you don't have to worry about it. So the next topic we are going to learn now, it is disk. Very important topic. 
because without disk server is of no use okay. so let's quickly click on disk and start it and I, I will put some tasks today for this now whatever machines you have been creating you're not adding any extra disk to that now we are going to learn what is an extra disk what is uh, how do we add it how to remove it how to add it while creating machine how to add it later how to remove it how to resize it okay before that let me quickly open paint and i'll explain the disk to you Okay, so whenever it comes to disk, guys, there are only two types, uh, OS disk and data disk. What is OS disk? OS disk is something where your operating system is installed. Let me open my, this one, uh, wait, I'll open my computer explorer and show it to you. You can check it in your laptop also. Are these disk? Can anyone confirm? Do you, do you think these are disk? Uh, these are drives, right? Yes, these are not disk. These are drives. Okay. We don't have to get into that. But what are drives? Just wanted to check. So what I what do I mean by disk? Let's say this is a disk. Okay. So I have a disk where my operating system is installed. That is the disk I have. And I, I have another disk where I have saved my data. Let me show it to you, the disk details. Waiting for this to come. I'm showing you my current laptop, okay? My, uh, the one on which I'm working. Here it is. So if I open my disk management of my computer, I will see all my disk here. And how many disks are attached to my laptop. So how many disks do you see guys? Two disk. Two. Disk one partition one, disk one partition four. Okay, so this is a disk on which my operating system is installed. Now let's consider this for your understanding that you have a mobile phone which has a capacity of a memory card. So will your mobile not turn on if you don't put a memory card? Is it a necessary thing, memory card? No. No, it's right? not. Your mobile will turn on. Why? Because it has some internal disk also. They're not calling it a disk, but it has some internal memory, right? You you read it, it's 140. GB or 126 GB and if you go to settings, let's say I have a mobile phone uh, which has internal memory of 128 GB. So do you think all 128 GB is usable for me? I can save my pictures, videos for in complete 180, 128 GB or do you think no. something will always be there? Why, why not then? If not, why not? Uh, some space has been uh, utilized by OS. Yeah, so if it is uh, in iOS, you will have your operating system, iOS operating system in Apple. Uh, in Android, you will have your Android version, your operating system, which can help your mobile to run. So it is saved in internal memory. It, it, that is called is OS disk. Similarly, in computer, I have one operating system disk on which my operating system is installed. Though I can keep my data also, like in phone, I have my data and operating system on same one. And apart from that, I can attach the memory also. That is your data disk. Because on that particular memory card, I even if I want to, I cannot keep my operating system. My operating system will always be there in OS disk, operating system disk. Is it clear guys still here? Did you understand the analogy? Yes. Okay. So similarly in computer, I have two disks. 
on first disk which says disk number zero that is my first disk okay the number is zero but that is my first disk so in disk number zero i have my uh operating system let's say in in this case it's uh vice and versa in disk one i have my operating system can you guys see windows it's it is in my disk one what is the capacity of that disk it is 128 gb or 120 gb okay that is the capacity i have of that particular disk i have my operating system in this one and apart from that i have another disk which is of 1 tb and there i have kept my data look at this i have kept made media softwares documents study material etc so now if i remove disk zero from it will my computer work or not let's say that i open my computer from back end uh, from the back side I, I got one screwdriver i opened it and i see a disk and luckily i'm not breaking anything smoothly properly I removed my disk zero and I reboot my computer. Will it work or not? Yes, it will work. It will work. However, there will be no disk. Uh, there will be no uh, disk which you have been, uh, Right. It will work, but my data will be lost because my data was saved here. On contrary, I keep my disk zero like that only over there and I remove my disk one. Then what? Will my computer work and will I be able to access my data? No. No, because you have the operating system on that disk. Exactly. Right. So operating system is the key to control your hardware. If your operating system is not there, you don't have any machine. Okay. In, in our case, at least laptop is there in front of me. Okay. If I don't have an operating system disk, I at least have some physical thing in front of me. I can attach it. But in virtual machine, if there is no operating system disk, there is no operating system or there is no machine. Without an operating system disk, machine cannot exist. Physical at least I have this hardware in, in front of me, right? Even if I have removed the disk, though it is not working, nothing, but I have something which I can see. But in virtual machine, if I don't have operating system disk, there's nothing, no machine existence is there. Is it clear, guys, to everyone? Yes, guys. Yes, no, maybe any confusion. Are you guys getting it? Not getting it? Ganesh, any question? I'm a little confused. No, sorry. What about others? Yes, guys, please speak up. Anisa, any doubt? Are you getting it? Not getting it? Don't don't hesitate, guys. Please do ask. I'm a little confused. Like, 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 to, like, uh, operating system concept you said that I didn't get properly. Okay. What about others? Who who got it clearly? Who can explain it? Guys, anyone? No one got it clearly. So, uh, soil. Hmm. We have an operating system desk, which is an OS desk. And uh, in this case, which uh, example of your laptop, you have disk zero and you have disk one. Hmm. So disk one have your operating system disk. So yes. if you remove the disk one, which is OS disk, hmm. your system will not work. Basically your laptop will not work. Right. And if we remove disk zero and hmm. we have the disk one in place, so hmm. Your uh, your laptop will work normally. Hmm. Only the thing is that you, you will not have the storage or the memory which you like the software, the study material which you have stored on that disk. Perfect. So the only difference is this. So guys, imagine this as a memory card of your mobile phone. And you have pictures and etc. in this one. So if you remove your memory card from your phone, will your phone stop working? No. no. And this is the internal attached disk of your phone on which you have your Android installed on it. So if somehow you manage to remove this internal memory, uh, internal disk, which has your operating system, will your mobile phone will work? No, it will not work. So that exactly same logic you have to apply. Your operating system disk is attached to your VM your operating system disk creates your virtual machine because your operating system is there in that operating system disk. Is, is it clear, Anissa, now? Or do you still have some doubt? 
it's clear now. No, don't, don't, guys, don't just say yes for the sake of it. Okay, if you have not got it, we'll spend one more session on this. Don't worry. What about others, Ganesh? Is it clear to you? Yes, sir, absolutely. Mm, Harun, is it clear to you? Harun or Riaz, whoever has joined with that ID, is it clear? Yes, guys, yes, no, Harun. Please unmute and speak, guys. Because if you proceed from here, if you don't say anything, don't understand, you will not understand anything whenever it comes to disk. And that is an important topic. Jotsna, what about you? So, Sohil, the only thing which you, like the last, I'm just trying. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, Joseph, tell me. I'm just trying to elaborate the last point. So, so for example, the, your laptop's example, we have the laptop in front of us. So even if our operating system desk is removed, we have the physical laptop. It is of no use, but we right. have that physical hardware in front of us. So in case of virtual machines, if we don't have like, we, we, we don't have that physical thing, it's totally a virtual thing. So if our operating system desk is removed or it is like deleted or something like that. So we'll not have a virtual yes. machine. So there is no virtual machine. If you don't have a disk, there is no virtual machine. For example, in your mobile also, even if you remove something, you break and remove it, at least you have your phone in front of you in your hand. But in a virtual machine, if you remove the disk, your virtual machine is gone. Because that is virtual. Maybe physical hardware is lying somewhere, but your virtual machine is gone. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this on Azure now. So if I go from here and I go to my machine, this is my machine guys, okay? And let me log into that. You will get a better idea. This is the machine which I have created on Azure. Now look at this machine. This is the machine or we we have discussed activity log. We have discussed I am we have discussed tags done. This is done networking yet to cover connect is done admin not in uh, not in our course. We are talking about disk. If I click on disk. What are the sections do you see by the way first let's start from scratch. What are the sections do you see when it comes to disk? Or what types of disk do you do we have not in this one? But uh, what types of disk do we have? What are the types? Whether I have that disk or not? Or premium, that is a premium SSD. L, 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 RS. No, 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 not getting into that. OS disk and data disk. OS disk and data disk, right. Okay. Uh, though that answer was also correct, but not those are the varieties of disk. It says type here. I understand your answer in a manner is correct, but I'm asking the categories of the disk if you want me to be very clear, uh, clear with this. Uh, what types, uh, what categories do we have? Yes. So OS disk and data disk. I'm writing questions also guys for your practice. Okay. So we have OS disk and data disk. How many data disk do I have for, uh, attached to this machine? Zero. None. Zero. Which means, uh, which answers one question that having a data disk, is it a mandatory? No, no, it's not. You can create no. a machine even without having a data disk. Okay, that is, is is that clear? Operating system disk is OS disk uh, having an OS disk uh, clear? Uh, is is it mandatory? It's having an OS disk mandatory? Yes, it yes. is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, it is. is. Because if I delete this disk, first thing it will not let me delete. But if I delete this, there is no machine. If I delete this, there is nothing. What is a machine that you are renting some CPU, some uh, RAM, etc. And to run that you are utilizing one operating system and that operating system is saved in, in this operating system disk. So if I delete it, you don't have any operating that you don't have any machine uh, for you. Clear till here. But sir, uh, uh, but sir, if we delete the OSGs, uh, operator OSGs and the rent will be charged. If whatever we have done it. No, no, you cannot delete OS disk. 
if I go okay. ahead here okay. and if I delete, it will not allow me to delete the OS disk. And if I want to delete the OS disk, I'll have to delete virtual machine. If I delete virtual machine, then obviously there is no charge. Look at this. It will not allow me to delete the OS disk. Neither I can uh, delete it nor I can remove it, nothing. If I want to remove this disk, the simple option is delete the virtual machine. Because virtual machine is nothing but an operating system disk. You cannot have a virtual machine that, okay, I am renting two CPUs, I am renting uh, this uh, RAM, I am renting this one, but I am going to choose my operating system later. No, that is not happening. Your machine will be built with operating system. It will be deleted with operating system. Operating system uh, later, it's not an option. Is it clear? And your operating system is saved in your OS disk, operating system disk. Sir, what is that swap OS disk? Well, we'll do that later. It's in, okay. it's very next level thing. Okay. First, let's understand the basics of disk. We'll work on, on a data disk first, and then I'll show it to you, this one. Okay. Okay, guys, is it clear to everyone now? That I cannot delete this disk, so that question will never arise. Uh, that uh, what if I do not have an operating system disk? Will I be charged for my CPU and my RAM? You cannot have a RAM. You cannot take a RAM or CPU on rent unless you have an operating system. And you cannot have an operating system unless you have an operating system disk. So your machine's existence is there till the time this operating system disk is there. So if you do not want this operating system, you'll have to delete your machine. If you want operating system, you'll have to create a machine. Is that clear, guys, to everyone? Correct. Okay. Now, you do not see any disk attached to this one, right? Now, let's go and check while creating the machine, what kind of options do we get? So if I go here, and create the machine and now all the practice next practice everything guys i'll be doing it on linux uh, sorry on windows it's easier to understand and i'm sure you all are familiar with uh, windows linux guys if you want to try it on linux feel free to do that i can check linux also so don't worry if you want to uh, do some practical on linux and want me to check i'll do that but for whosoever is uh, is doing it for the first time, don't understand much. Stick to Windows. Okay, let's say that I am creating a VM. Uh, it's fine. We are still yet to discuss all these things. Okay. Operating system doesn't matter. I as, a, as of now, I'm gonna take 2016. It's okay with me. Size, I'm okay with it. Requesting you guys not to take any size like this. If you take a machine of virtu four virtual CPU, I'm sure no one else will be able to create a machine in your subscription. So don't do that, guys. If clearly, stick to size what I uh, recommend in my requirements. This is, uh, guys, a Windows machine, and I want to take RDP. So which box will I check? RDP. Yes, it is already checked, by the way. Hmm. This one I'll explain later. Why am I doing it? Next. This is the section we are talking about now. Disk. Okay. Now, operating system disk. Let's talk about the type of the disk first. When I am taking an operating system disk, by the way, look at this. Is it optional? Can I take a, a disk without operating system? This disk, data disk, this is optional. You can take it, you can leave it. Is th this one, is it optional? Do you see any option? I can skip it and I cannot take it and create a virtual machine. Mm -hmm. While creating also check if you get that option. There is no, you cannot create it, okay? So, uh, one more thing, when it comes to disk, we have uh, multiple types of disk. You don't have to worry much about it. Uh, these are nothing but quality of disk. When you say HDD, it means hard disk drive. When you say standard SSD, solid straight drive. Premium SSD, it's premium solid straight drive. It's nothing but uh, the uh, variety of the disk or the speed of the disk. The better you take, the better quality you will get. But the more you are paying in that. For example, if I again show you my uh, disk one, let me show it to you, wait. 
SSD works very fast. So what did I do guys uh, in my laptop? I have taken an SSD disk for my operating system. So my operating system work will work very fast, but it is very costly. I mean, just 120 GB SSD. It, it costs me eight to 10,000. So look at this. What I did, I took two disks. One disk, it's my for operating system. But what did I do? I, I This one is my SSD, solid straight drive. It is nothing but just quality. And this one, one TV, it is hard disk drive, the normal one. Okay. So th these are nothing but quality. You can take any one. It's okay. But prices will change. In this case, I'm going to take premium SSD. For practicing, do not take premium SSD. Maybe you can stick to standard HDD. Okay, uh, fine. These all options we are not discussing. Data disk. If I create a machine now, will it have any data disk? No, no, it will not have. Okay, but my requirement is to have four disk. Okay, four disk. And today I'm gonna put these conditions in. Guys, understand one thing: this uh, create virtual machine task, it's gonna be there always because you. I I would urge you to keep on practicing. More virtual machines you create, more you will learn. So I will keep this practical as it is here, and I'll keep on amending details here. So make sure you read it properly in every time. Don't just first time I, I had given Windows, so I I saw. This time, many people created the practical everything good, but Windows uh, with Windows OS, just because last time it was Windows, but I changed it here. So make sure you always read from here to there thoroughly. Okay, and this one I'm gonna add that now I want uh, the disk also. Look at this one. This one, wh what did I say? All the default. But now in today's practical, I'm gonna add something. So what are we doing here? Disk. Okay. Attach an existing disk. We'll see that later. First, create an attached a new disk. What does it mean when you when I say create? Are you literally creating something, or what are you guys doing? Choosing a configuration and the types of uh, you know what you want, how you want to uh, want your disk, how you want your data disk from the available options. Yes. So let's say that Azure, like it has CPU and RAM, बहुत सारा जो रखा होता है उनके पास hardware. उसी तरह से they have disk also. Now, out of that, how much do I want for rent? That is what I'm selecting here with my machine. How much do I want? So I want one disk. It's fine. Uh, empty disk. It's fine. What is the size? This, this is very important, guys. Okay, because I'm going to give you sizes also. So I want four disks. One of them should be 32 GB. Share disk, etc. Leave it. Whatever uh, I, I give in the this one, we'll stick to that. This one we are going to see later. I added. Can you see now? One disk has been added. I want four disks, but in total. This is disk two. 64 GB I want. Scott stuck guys, just a minute. Okay. Disk three, 128 GB. Disk four, 256. Okay, so this is how I asked you to create. If I, if I ask you, this is how I will ask you to create. And all these things we're going to see later. Name, you can name however you want, whatever you like. I am I'm going to focus on uh, the size of the disk. We are not even discussing this one as of now. Okay, SSD, I leave it up to you, whatever you want to take. But if, if I mention something, uh, it's okay. Look look at this, the premium SSD disk. If I tell you uh, that I want, okay, I, I, I'm going to put this one also. Okay, so ask questions now. Uh, Ask, ask questions now if you don't understand because I'm going to give you homework today and I will be checking that. So if I ask you to put a standard SSD, you will come here and select. This is the place. Let me go back and do it from scratch for you. While creating a machine, I will tell you that, okay, guys, I want a machine. This should be the operating system. This should be uh, the region or default region, etc. This is done. Uh, uh, port and under disk, 
operating system this I'm not gonna say because it has to come by default so I'm not changing anything here but I will mention specifically I want data disk I want four data disk I want six data disk whatever I want and this is this should be the size and with size I will also mention that what kind of disk do I want so I'll tell you that I want four disk with this size and the fifth disk should be it should not be premium SSD it should be standard SSD or it should be standard HDD and I want a capacity of this is called capacity this is called type this is called capacity so the type should be standard HDD and the capacity should be 2 GB or oh, sorry uh, this is 2048 GB wins which means 2 TB 